One of the things we did today was we took a walking tour with a company called Bigfoot Tours, which is really just uh, two local Hong Kong people that started this little business, uh, giving tours through the neighborhoods uh, of Hong Kong. So we got to walk through the neighborhoods and meet some of the people and see really how the Hong Kong people live their daily lives. And what a unbelievable experience. Joe talked a lot about the architecture of Hong Kong and how it's um, influenced heavily by feng shui and the flow of energy throughout the city. Uh, this is an interesting building uh, because it's uh, an Australian company and, and the building was meant to resemble koala bears hugging a tree. So those protrusions on the outside of the building uh, are meant to be koala bears. And uh, if, if Joe hadn't pointed that out, I, I wouldn't have uh, recognized that, but uh, it's amazing. Another interesting thing is how these uh, brand new skyscrapers and buildings have uh, bamboo scaffolding up the side of them. And uh, it's amazing that building technique has been around for uh, as long as Hong Kong has, and they still use it today. These bronze lion statues in downtown Hong Kong have a really interesting history. They were seen as a symbol of the British power in Hong Kong and when the Japanese invaded in World War II they were actually involved in the fighting and you can see the bullet holes in the side of one of the lions. Uh, Japan's uh, confiscated these lions and took them back to Japan and then uh, returned them after they surrendered in, uh, at the end of the war. One of the really cool things in Hong Kong is that you'll be in a very ultra modern shopping area turn the corner and be in a kind of open air market alleyway <laughs> type of thing with uh, these little uh, food stands and produce shops and uh, meat shops just all right there within you know literally feet from uh, a Rolex store or a uh, Louis Vuitton just unbelievable the contrast you see One of the things that Joe talked to us about is how much the Hong Kong people are focused on their health and well-being and uh, natural foods, fresh foods, and, and those kinds of things. Uh, these pictures are from a uh, kind of a pharmacy stall where they have all of these herbal uh, teas and uh, foods that people use to uh, improve their health. Amazing, um, some of the things that we saw in, in these shops. Uh, one of the things that Joe showed us was these uh, dried seahorses, uh, and these are used in a soup. Uh, he also showed us shark fin, which is also used in a soup. And you know, a lot of these things are really controversial, and you know, from an environmental perspective, uh, starting to be really frowned upon. But uh, you can still find them in in these stalls. You know, we saw a lot of people practicing Tai Chi, which is you know good for your health. But one of the other things that I wasn't familiar with is reflexology which uh, is stimulating the bottoms of your feet and they have these little reflexology areas uh, that you can walk around so we got to try that out and I gotta tell you <laughs> it was difficult to get used to it's very painful at first and takes a lot of getting used to before you can uh, before you can stay on these surfaces for very long one of the traditions for a lot of these shops is to have one of these little wag wag uh, cats in the window for good luck and uh, the funny thing was a lot of the shops also have real cats because uh, the, the shop owners believe that uh, if you want fake money get a fake cat if you want real money get a real cat so <laughs> Aaron got to uh, see a few of these cats and pet them it was pretty cool one of the interesting thing is some of these neighborhoods um, still have influences from the rest of the world you know it was uh, really funny we uh, turned a corner and i saw this taco stand and then down the street was a british pub so uh still influence from the rest of the world uh, also in, the, in these neighborhoods <laughs> so one of the most interesting things to me about the walk through the neighborhoods with joe is just learning about how the hong kong people conduct their daily lives their traditions their cultures uh, you know, the one thing that I think we'll all remember the most is just seeing how these little community shops and, you know, grocery stores, as we would call them in the West, 
uh, but these food stands, all of the fresh food, the markets, you know, this is really a, a center of the community and people come there every day. They get to know the shopkeepers. They get to you know, run into their neighbors every day when they're buying their, their fresh food. And so it really creates a sense of community. And Joe really conveyed that to us. You know, he grew up in these neighborhoods and he has a real passion for that and those traditions. And that's, I think, what I'll remember the most uh, from our tour through the, the neighborhoods of Hong Kong. When I asked Aaron what he liked most about the neighborhood walk uh, with Joe, his answer kind of surprised me. And he said his favorite part was actually meeting Joe. And I have to agree with him. Uh, Joe grew up in these neighborhoods. He is so passionate about the culture, the history uh, of these neighborhoods that it really came through in this tour. And that really was the best part of the tour. So uh, if you're ever in Hong Kong, look up. Uh, Bigfoot tours. I highly recommend it. It was a, a wonderful experience and I'm so glad that we decided to take this tour.